Today, we're gonna to talk about can boot camps really teach you coding in a short amount of time? Anonymous asks, how do programming boot camps teach so much knowledge in a very short amount of time? Hmm, that's an interesting question. But let me talk about the premise. First, you said that um, especially what Coder Foundry does, we're a 12-week immersion training program. So we actually don't teach it in a short amount of time. So immersion means that you're here from, say, 9 to 5, five days a week, and then working on the weekend. So at our program, you'll do 600 hours over three months minimum. You may do closer to 700. So those hours spent what is not what I would call short because if you added up all the lab time in a CS grad program, we probably have more seat time or more coding time than a CS degree. So it's not a short amount of time. Now, what we've done, and the reason you've done that, is we've compressed that from four years into 12 weeks. And let me tell you why that works. So the first thing we do is we follow this thing called immersion training. So if you look at how boot camps are traditionally done where we get the word from, from the military, and how they transfer a person from, they walk in as a young man and they walk out as a man and a Marine, and that's what they say. Um, and so like that amount of time is the reason they can do that in that short amount of time is that they do and focus on one thing. And the only thing what they do is focus on military things. And we're doing the same thing with coding. When you walk in the door at Coder Foundry from day one, you will spend your that day, that full day coding. And every day after that, you're gonna spend that coding, building projects. And so we also do something else too, is like we take all the disciplines and you have to make a complete solution. So what you might see in other programs is I am building a sh this little project, this little project, this little project, and this other little project. And then what you do when you get on the job is they want you to take all of those activities and somehow put those together. And that's why it's really hard to interview and really hard to be productive because you've never really put all phases of the game together, which would be front end, middle tier, and a database. And immersion programs, like in boot camps, that's what you're actually gonna do because we're building the portfolio that way so that you have full featured professional web dev projects built with everything, front end, middle tier, back end language, database. That's what you need to do to get a job. And that's what we're doing inside of immersion training. The second thing I would say is this, not all boot camps are created equal. And so like if you're looking at online schools, that's different than an in-person immersion training school. Now imagine this, think about this. Do you think the United States government could ever trade the Marines with an online boot camp? You're probably laughing because that would be ludicrous at this point. You're like, no, no one's gonna do that. You need to go there to the place and learn. And we still believe immersion training in person is the best way to learn to code in the amount of time that given, like 12 weeks. With online learning, you're setting your own deadlines. With an immersion bootcamp, we set the deadlines for you that you have to meet. And that's a big difference between um, those classes and the classes that we teach. The second thing we have is we have a coach or a mentor that will walk over and help you become unstuck when you get stuck in person, live. And so like you're not sitting in your basement at night or somewhere like that at 4 a.m. trying to figure out what it is from the lecture that you just watched that you didn't get. Because what we've learned by through a lot of experience is this, that even though we lecture something, that different people will have different sticking points. And the only way to get them unstuck is giving them personalized one-on-one -on -one instruction. And they're saying, you know, I heard you say this, but how does that actually work? And then that instructor comes along and helps you become unstuck. Just like a drill instructor, uh, I'm in the military, who will push you through that 100th push-up when you want to quit at 98, um, or make you run the extra mile when you want to quit at mile five. We won't let you quit because you get discouraged or down or you don't know how to do. We give you the things necessary for you to be successful long-term. That's what I want to do. The other thing I want to mention too is that learning something and knowing something are two different activities. And so let's talk about things like short-term and long-term memory. If you're in a, a bootcamp class, an immersion, and you're struggling with an activity, and then you, you eventually raise your hand and you ask for help, and then that person can come through and give you that one little nugget of information that puts you over the hump. Like suddenly now, hey, that's what an array is. Oh, now I get that. That goes into long-term memory. When someone, when you watch a video and someone just says, here's arrays and here's the thing, this is how they work, that goes into short-term memory. And then when you truly need that, it's not there. So you learned it,
but you don't know it. Immersion training transfers learning into knowing, which in knowing means that you can confidently walk onto a job and they ask you to build an inventory control system. And even though you've never built one of those before, you know how to do it. And that's the difference between, I would say, an online class and an, a fully immersive, full-time coding bootcamp. And that's what we do. And I think that's what you're asking. It's not a short amount of time. It's 600 or 700 hours of continuous hard work. But the results speak for themselves. People get out and get jobs by doing this method and following this method. Anyway, I hope that helps. But whatever you do, good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've created five steps to getting your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. And we lay out the five steps necessary to get that first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe to get more videos just like it.